Don't turn him, mate. Don't turn him, mate. Don't turn him. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another video. Welcome back to some more Assetto Corsa Competizione. Now, some of you might be thinking, why are you even bothering, Dave? You obviously hate it. Well, I don't. I'm really enjoying it at the moment. It's just some of the driving that I don't like. And just to clear things up from yesterday's video, I wasn't having a go at LFM or ACC really at all. It was just the drivers and the driver's mentality that I was having a pop at. Some people, as usual, got offended by what I say. Well, that's just tough. So we've got our head down today. Different track, quarter, circuit of the Americas. And we've chosen the Porsche to drive around here. Probably the most difficult car for me anyway to drive on ACC. So the first three races that I did, I just qualified and raced as I normally would. And to be honest, they were probably cleaner than any races I've had in recent weeks in the GT3 Sprint Series. And we gained quite a bit of safety rating, which leaves us with only 0 0.02 to gain from this race. And then we're out of rookies. So for this one, I thought we would play it safe not qualify and start at the back. So we're starting dead last P22. But of course, if you're a racer, you're a racer. And it doesn't take long before I start getting a little bit scrappy. But this one was actually quite a fun little race. So this one's 20 minutes around Circuit of the Americas in the Porsche. But before we get cracking, at any point during the video, if you do like it, please remember... Leave a like, and if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. And you'll be pleased to know that there's no swearing or ranting in this video. Everything is happy. Here we go then. Fingers crossed, my last race in rookies. But I must admit, this has been pretty clean, to be fair. The temp is 34. The air temp is 28 Celsius. We're starting dead last. Follow car number 12. We need 0.2 on our safety rating to get to four, which means that we'll be able to race in... What's going on here? We'll be able to race in the sprint series once again. Why did it put us on the wrong side then? Who knows? So we're not going to get racy in this one. We're going to have a little talk about the last video because, as usual, whenever you make a video about something that you're not happy with, the fans of whatever you're talking about get a little bit grumpy. But we'll try and keep it clean, try and keep it safe. It's just 20 minutes. I'm not interested in battling too hard. We'll just see how the race pans out. Audi's on a mission look. This Ferrari doesn't want any of it. Neither do we, mate. Neither do we. Nice and safe. Oh, crashing on the inside. BMW's cut across my nose there. Nice and safe start. I like it. Tyres are cold. Two cars off to the right. Three cars off to the right. Okay, Dave. Decent start. We can build something from here. Yellow flag. There's no rush. We'll just follow these round. That Honda looks good, though. The setup we're running isn't very quick in a straight line. But if I don't run the Porsche on max wing, then I only last about half a lap. Little punt to pass on the Porsche there by the Honda. Mm. Don't want any of this boys just yet. 
You guys crack on. We've got a car behind us now, which is what I didn't want. Don't turn in mid, don't turn in mid, don't turn in, thank you. Thanks Jimbo. Honestly, it just wants to kill you at every opportunity. Is that an incident point when it gives us that no time gain thing? That's P15. Where was my spotter? Old Jimbo went on holiday then for a second. Let's just let things settle down. Okay, Dave, the next car is Orlando. Right, P14. Morning then. The is now 0 .31. It's not going to be easy to get by these. See what happens here. Uh oh. Yellow flag. It's more damage than what? Thank you. 
Come on, Aldi. Let's go. Merc looked in all kinds of trouble like ages ago. <laughs> if we can get by this guy, then we can get our head down and start trying to push on a bit. But look how quick it is though, compared to the Porsche. Don't get racing, Dave. What are you doing? Alright, Dave. Have chances here. Let's make sure we can take a beat out. Up on my right side there. Jeez, it's quick. I descended deep. It's hard to see a braking marker on the left hand side of the circuit though. We'll get it done, we'll get it done. the Porsche behind. He's gone. We're a good couple of seconds slower than what we should be right now. Right, I don't think we've got a run, I think he's going to clear us here and go defensive. Better. Right, head down now, come on Dave. If we can gap him. Yellow flag. Green flag. God, I 
keep misjudging that every time. Right, so let's talk about the last video that I put out. When I talked about my recent experience on LFM. And I stand by what I said, but obviously it upset people again because people don't like it when you criticise something that they're passionate about. And I, I totally understand that. But the thing I was criticising LFM, and I really wasn't, I'm a huge uh, fan of, of LFM and what they've done. I really am. They've worked wonders with ACC to make it into what it is right now. So I'm not criticising LFM. And I'm not criticising ACC. I'm really not. I'm just criticising the mentality of some of the drivers. And I know you get that in every simulator. I'm not, I, I know you do. I know you do. You get it in every simulator. But because of the way the ACC crash physics is means that um, you can get away with hitting somebody and then driving off it's just the whole mentality of I want to get through at any cost um, and that's not healthy that's not good because it ruins the experience for a lot of people myself included or I refuse to uh, let it beat me <laughs> you know we'll come back fighting Go back swinging. And then we'll go again. I don't know whether my driving style needs to change to be a little bit more aggressive. To, you know, whether I'm being a little bit too polite. I don't know. And I only talk about things like this you know raise my concerns because I'm passionate about what we do with sim races I really am I'm passionate about what we do and I want to make it better which is why I've made countless tutorial videos and talking about blue flags and multi-class racing and educational videos because I want the experience to be a good one for everybody and for me ultimately if it's if it's better for everybody then it's going to be better for me isn't it and that's all I'm trying to do. I'm not criticising just because, you know, I want. I feel like being mean about something. That's not the case at all. I'm just passionate about what we do. Passionate about our little hobby. You know, like it or not, you know, iRacing, ACC, R Factor 2, whatever the simulator, we're all on the same side. We, we all want the same thing. We all want the perfect simulator, don't we? One in there, that's not good. Can we catch this guy? Oh, well, we might be able to catch this guy, but can we pass this guy? That's the next question. Because you saw with the other Audi how uh, difficult it was, and we were a good ooh, two seconds a lap quicker than him when uh, you know when he wasn't in front of us. But catching is one thing; passing is something else entirely. Guys aren't a million miles up the road. How long's left? Ah, oh, there's not much time. Maybe three more laps. Unless they start battling. But I don't want to get racy. I don't want to get racy. Remember what you're doing this for, Davy boy. I want to get out of rookies. How does going off road?
Not again. Tire pressure's a bit low, I must say. Hopefully with enough of a gap that it doesn't hit straight back here. There'll be one more lap I think after this one. Oh, that must be that Porsche that was behind us earlier on. Jeez. Well, I mean, those two back markers are battling as well, though. So they couldn't really do much there. The last lap. I'd be happy with P8, and we should have done enough to gain 0 0.02, we should have done enough. Oh, if we hadn't slid out there, we might have been able to get in there. <laughs> Good little race, that one. Good fun. I think mission accomplished. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. That is mission accomplished. We'll go and have a look at the results, shall we? So there we go. It took us four races to get back out of rookies. And now I've got my bronze plus 
license back. For this one, we gained 0.78 on our safety rating. So that takes us up to 4.76. And now we can enter the GT3 sprint races once again. Fingers crossed they're not going to be as bad as they were at Spa. As far as getting out of rookies goes, well, it's pretty simple and the same principles that you have on iRacing. Start at the back. Don't battle with anybody. Don't go off track. Don't get any contact. Forget about your ELO. All you want to do is get around the track without any incident points and you'll be out of rookies in no time. So remember, if you did like the video, give it a like. And if you want to see more, please consider subscribing. As always, thanks for watching. Have a good week. See you later. Cheers.